Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. So hello parents and toy collectors, it's your friendly neighborhood Oz and today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Magic Tracks Rocket Races RC. Uh, these were sent to me by the lovely people at Head Start Toys, I think, there we go, Head Start Toys. And uh, this is in Australia, only $20 for this like remote control uh, car set. I know nothing about it except what we can see on the box here, which is like you have your own customized track, uh, you pull the trigger to make the cars go, just like a normal slot track. Um, there's glow in the dark, glow in the dark, uh, what do you call that track? Nitro boost, which I don't understand, real racing sounds. Uh, p pass anywhere, any place on the track. I don't understand that. So um, we'll find out what all this means. 10 feet of speedway, that's quite big. And like I said, it's only $20, which is uh, insane. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how they managed to make this so cheap. I can see it comes with two cars. Uh, the remote control, one remote control? How does that work for two cars? Maybe, maybe that's something. But uh, anyway, because I don't know much about this, we'll open it up, we'll see how they managed to make it so cheap. If it's junk, because you know, usually there's a reason why things are cheap. So we'll check it out, we'll see if it's worth getting and if it is decent. Even if it's halfway decent for $10, 10 Australian dollars, 15-ish US dollars, um, it would be worth getting, just because just, just it's the price. And a slot car set, without having to worry about all the all the pain that comes with like the, the old fashioned slot car sets um it will be very cool so anyway we've opened the box i just kind of did it while talking i'm sorry <laughs> sometimes there's a bit more ceremony around it it comes with an empty bag if that's what you're after um lots of stickers so i guess that's to customize the car looks like you can choose which color you want to which color decals you want for your car so a bit of customization there uh, lots of stickers to help decorate the track. Uh, let's go through the pieces very quickly. I won't do it in detail, but we've got a bridge, a wide bridge. It looks like you can have two cars. Um, a cable there, maybe a charging cable, I'd say. Gee, we don't need this out of the bag. Maybe we do. Let's have a look. Basic charging cable. I saw back here, this is the controller. Um, it doesn't feel like it comes with batteries. It's quite light. Uh, there's a trigger there, very cool. Looks, I wonder what that little little doohickey up the top does. Well, maybe we'll find out. Uh, cool, okay. <laughs> As you can tell, I've read no instructions. I'm, I'm simply just eyeballing this and seeing how we go. Now we got a bit of track here. This looks like it's some sort of curve or loop-de-loop. -loop. Let's try placing these things together. Ah, easy, okay, nice. There we go. It just slotted together very well. Let's just put this one in too. No, it doesn't go there. Maybe it goes here. Maybe I'm not meant to use it here at all. Okay, we'll, we'll leave that for later. Uh, we got, looks like starting starting tracks, which I think I can pretty safely put together. There we go, somehow. Is that gonna go together? It looks like it should. This is gonna be a little bit tricky lining it. Ow, pinch myself, <laughs> lining it all up. There we go, okay, so that's in, pretty good. So far, the quality isn't amazing, but it's, because this is just like kind of plastic, but um, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break anytime soon. Like, it doesn't feel like it's any worse a product because of the plastic type, uh, quality of the plastic. Um, and it clips together better than some other ones I've seen. Like, that's pretty sturdy, considering it's just gonna be sitting on the ground. Like, it's not gonna, come apart which is cool um, so so far so good I'm happy with the quality for the price uh, now this is the curvy track they mentioned very cool and a lot of these you just connect together the same way I'm working out that it's just a bit of a push there we go very nice very easy and just more track oh, over here looks like we've got the cars uh, this looks like I think they mentioned converters where you go from like Two tracks to one, maybe that's what this is. I'm not sure what these are, but we'll, we'll, I'm sure they'll come in handy. Oh, this is orange track, but it looks like it does the same thing. Very cool. Uh, and we saw the cars somewhere, I've lost them, here we go. And then the two cars, let's just slot that out. Here we go, okay, so. 
So these come, no batteries in them, which is a nice sign. Like, uh, no places for putting batteries, so hopefully they're rechargeable. See how there's like a little slot there, a little hole? I don't know if you can see, there's a little, there you go, you can see a little piece of metal. So uh, that looks like you charge the cars up, possibly with that thing here. Let's just see, uh, again, I'm not reading instructions, I'm just kind of uh, experimenting here. Alright, I might wait for the instructions, because, oh no, there we go, there we go, okay, that, that's slotted in very neatly. So I'm guessing that's how you charge that, maybe you put a battery in here, or this somehow, oh yeah, okay, maybe you can charge these just <laughs> there through a USB port, okay, even nicer. Uh, there's a switch at the bottom of the cars, oh look, lights, there's all LEDs at the bottom, that's cool. So if you want to have it, lights, you can, and there's a light flashing at the top there. Um, again, this has no battery, so I won't be able to do much with the cars yet, but we'll turn you off. Okay, and this one, does this, whoa, this has like a different one. Wow, okay. So that's turning on. Why did the other one not have that big switch? It's got the little switch for the LEDs. Maybe that, maybe it charged somehow. Okay, let's just put that in there while we look around and check out these instructions. So actually, I won't make you guys wait while I read the instructions. I'll get back to you in one minute and explain how all this works. And the only other thing I need to show you is there's a boost. So when you're racing, if you want your car to go like super fast all of a sudden, you push this button at the back and it gives your car a boost. So you'd be pulling down the trigger to make it go around the track, normal speed. Then when you're ready for it to go super fast, you push down the boost button. And we'll give that a try in a second once, we're, uh, once we've set up the track and we're ready to race. Okay, here we are. So I've set, set up the track as well as I can. My stage is a little bit too small to get the whole track in one kind of scene here, but there we go. Uh, but there are lots of different shapes and sizes and different uh, configurations for your track. So these are just the three it comes with, but there is a lot more. Um, and also I haven't used all the parts. I have that kind of like big kind of curly, <laughs> curvy, uh, that piece there, the one that kind of curves up on the side of the wall. I still haven't even used that piece. Um, but anyway, we're good to go. So first thing we'll do is turn on the... Oh, it's already turned on. Oh, I think it's already paired up with the car too. I oh, know the car's not turned on, so we'll turn that on. Now, if we turn this off and then turn it back on, hopefully it will um, match up with the... Oh, look! It's already done it! Oh, that took like zero effort to make them calibrate with each other. Now, one very cool thing, and forgive me if there's an echo because the microphone's not that close to my mouth now. Um, one very cool thing is, you know how we noticed that this car was going by itself? This is what they call a pace car. So you set the speed you wanted to go to, and if you're playing this by yourself, um, then you can just use this car and race against the car. We'll do a quick test run now. We'll put it back there. Three, two, one. Okay, go, go, go. Why are you going backwards? That is not working how I wanted it to. The pace. Okay, wow, okay, no, now it's working. Wow, cool sound effects. Oh no, keep stopping. There we go, I only... Ch oh, he's backwards, that's his problem. Oh no. Okay, let's try that again. So we'll make sure he's all matched up. Okay, there we go, he's happy now. We'll get the pace car again, which was a little bit too fast. He was doing really well. Now, three, two, one. Ah! Okay, there we go. Oh, too fast. I didn't even use the boost. <laughs> so, much like the old slot cars, you've got to control the speed. You can't just let it go full speed at all times. You've got to be a little bit strategic. Ah, around corners. Oh, no. Okay, this is cooler than I thought. I, I didn't know you'd have that much control over the speed using this, but you do. Um, okay, we're getting started again. You ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Go fast! Ah, oh, too fast! I gotta slow down! <laughs> okay, see, I keep going too fast and making him go off the track. So what we'll do... Oh, I'll just test out the boost. 
So what we'll do is um, I'll move this somewhere where you can see it a little bit better, and then we'll uh, do another race. Now here we are outside, uh, this way you can see the full track in all its glory and we'll try a few different configurations as well. Um, but you can see it's got the booster car going, not the booster car, the pacer car going around the track at the moment. Now that pacer car has three different speeds, so you know, slow, medium and fast and you kind of want to choose a speed depending on the complexity of the track. So if there's heaps of sharp corners then maybe don't make it go full speed otherwise it'll fall off the track a lot. Um, now with using your own car, you want to be a little bit strategic on when you accelerate because if you hold your finger down all the time, including on sharp corners or, or going over that bridge where it's a bit like a jump, so it gets a little bit of air and then can come off the track easily. So you've got to like learn to pull your finger off the accelerator just before corners or during corners or before that, <laughs> that bridge um, because yeah, otherwise you'll find yourself going off the track and lose, losing the race. Um, another thing too I worked out is if your controller gets too far away from your car, like maybe over a meter away from your car, then it loses the signal and your car will slow down and stop. So you don't want that. So make sure like while you're racing, just to always keep your controller, or like yeah, your controller with the trigger uh, kind of close to where your car is, just in case you get a big track. You don't be walking away or swinging your arms around while driving and, and your car loses a connection to its controller. Uh, but that's about it. Otherwise, it feels just like a slot car track without all the messing around. It's kind of cool how they can smash each other out of the way. Um, it's extremely cool that you've got that pacer car or pace car so that you can play it even if you're just by yourself. Uh, it's very, very cool. Here we are, we're back inside. Now, I just want to, want to quickly show you a few things I've learned. Uh, here's a booster car, and it's amazing that it's got those four different speeds. I mentioned them before, but I didn't really get to show you, but that's uh, speed one, two, and, oh no, that's speed three. Okay, we skipped one. Um, and then here is the car itself. Now, I'll show you the sound. So if you pull this, have I got it turned on? Oh no, there we go. Oh no, I turned the car off. Okay, now let them find each other, I think it already has, there we go. Okay, so here's the sound effects. Okay, now I'll use the booster. Very cool. Booster time! <laughs> so yeah, very, very cool. Um, and also, if you want this to last long, because I can't see any way that this would break, except for these tiny little clips there. So if you want this track to last longer, simply don't pull it apart too often. Just set up the track, leave it as it is, and only like if you really have to, then change it. And also, if you do want to pull it apart, like pushing, pushing it together, you simply just push it together, but pulling it apart, give it a twist, and then pull it out, and it seems to put less strain on the uh, little plastic pieces there. But um, yeah, if you want it to last longer, just don't break it up. Just don't pull it apart and you'll be fine. Um, but otherwise, for $20, it's amazing good value. Um, I've seen these at Kmart. I don't know where else they are, but they definitely are at Kmart at the moment for $20. Uh, approximately $15 US dollars. Uh, if you like this toy or if you like this video, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button. Subscribe if you have not yet already subscribed and don't want to miss out on any future videos. I've turned it off, damn it. <laughs> that would have been cool. Um, but guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of this toy um, or if there's any other toys you want me to, to review for you. But um, otherwise, thank you for watching. Have a great week. Take care of yourself and I will catch you next time.